If you want to see one of the best preserved castles in Britain, this is it. When you walk through the main gate, you step back in time. It's one thing to learn about history, it's another thing to walk where history took place, and there's plenty of history here to go around. As we explore the castle, try to picture what it was like centuries ago. Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Conway, Wales. Now in back of me is the Conway Castle, which has 750 years of history. And in the United States, we have a similar castle, also with a lot of history. It's called the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland. I would call this an imposing castle. I'd be afraid to attack it back in the Middle Ages. It is big. And those at the top have a big advantage. Beautiful castle, the Conway Castle. Okay, so this is the entrance to the castle. And we're doing a self-guided tour. And rather than talk now, Andy, take it away. Conway Castle is one of the great fortresses of medieval Europe. It was built during the reign of Edward I, also known as Edward Longshanks and the Hammer of the Scots. He was King of England from 1272 to 1307, and this was built during his conquest of Wales between 1283 and 1289 by his master mason, James of St. George. It took 1,500 laborers four years to build the structure. Edward lived at the castle from December 1294 until January 1295. Prison tower. Edward I led armies into both Wales and Scotland in pursuit of dominance over his neighbors. In Wales, Edward's opponent was Llewellyn Ap Griffith, Prince of Gwynedd. When Edward came to the throne in 1272, the Welshman did not attend his coronation or pay homage. Edward could not let this insult pass, so in 1277, he sent his troops into Wales. The English quickly overwhelmed the Welsh, and Llewellyn was forced to sign a very severe peace settlement. But that wasn't the end of the matter. Llewellyn rose up in revolt in 1282 after his brother David had provoked the English with a surprise attack. Once more, Edward's men marched west, and once more they were victorious. Llewellyn was killed at the end of the year, while David was captured the following summer and was given a traitor's execution. The Great Hall would have been the scene of lavish entertainment and banquets, where the king and queen would entertain guests. It would also host court hearings. At the far end by the wall was the royal chapel. It's very dark here. Is it? Yeah. Is there a hole in there? It's a bit scary. Oh. It's scary to go. <laughs> the... So I've been practicing my Welsh and uh, I got this. Croisco Semistingi. Ningestral Edward, that must be Edward the first. Galwig the dim and gigging a rim yim meaning far Conway. Ik went in ik dwarn credwich no radio on dear forward hard e moon. All right, I'll stop now. It's too much. It's too much pain. It's just, it's just, uh, I can't go on. How do I do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. We're gonna climb up to the tower level. The Northwest Tower was entered by passing through the Porter's Lodge. Its basement was unheated and dimly lit by narrow slit windows. It was probably used for the castle's stores. On the two upper floors, it contained fireplaces and large two light windows with stone seats and possessed one latrine or restroom. All right. Oh. Okay. I see daylight. All right, we're going to step out here for a second. Oh, nice. Okay. Here's one. The outer ward used to be a much narrower space in the Middle Ages, flanked by large buildings, several of which have been lost. 
This area was busy with the castle's officers, soldiers, servants, and craftsmen, as well as the townspeople, as the castle was their administrative center. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, look at this. Over several centuries, Conway Castle played an important part in several wars. It withstood the siege of Madag Apluelan in the winter of 1294 to 1295, acted as a temporary haven for Richard II in 1399, and was held for several months by forces loyal to Welsh nobleman Owain Glyndor, who in 1401 ransomed it back to the English for some much needed cash. Owain himself was never captured, and his rebellion caused a great upsurge in Welsh identity and he was widely supported by Welsh people throughout the country. However, as a response to his rebellion, the English Parliament passed the penal laws against Wales, which prohibited the Welsh from carrying arms, from holding office, and from dwelling in fortified towns. These prohibitions also applied to Englishmen who married Welsh women. Following the outbreak of the English Civil War in 1642, the castle was held by forces loyal to Charles I, holding out until 1646, when it surrendered to the parliamentary armies. In the aftermath, the castle was partially slided by Parliament to prevent it from being used in any further revolt, and was completely ruined in 1665, when its remaining iron and lead were stripped and sold off. All right, we're in the Northwest Tower at the top, and this is a great view of the town of Conway, where we are staying. Small town, easy to get around, very quaint. Excuse me, sire. I see the marauders at 10 o'clock. Thank you, my liege. They look like they uh, are wearing the native dress from centuries ago here in the castle. Southwest Tower over here. The Southwest Tower had its own entrance in a small courtyard. It may have been intended as the residence of an important figure in Conway like the constable who commanded and paid the castle's garrison. A part of the garrison used part or all of the tower. In 1284, it was to contain 30 soldiers of whom 15 had to be crossbowmen together with a chaplain, blacksmith, carpenter, mason, and an engineer to maintain the weapons. The basement of the tower served as a bakehouse and contains a bread oven. And we're eventually gonna get to the top of these towers.
Alright, we're, we're on one of the towers and looking down, I'm getting dizzy. We're not even at the top yet. We're gonna climb to the top, but that tower will be at the very top. Okay. And there's some people over here. Hello, everyone. He was nervous as me about being up here because I'm getting a little shaky. But there's an incredible view of the castle from here. Here it is. I am getting a little dizzy, I have to be honest. Right. Uh, quiet, please. I'm saving. I'm filming for Andy's Awesome Adventures. Please shut my mouth. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to film the uh, Are you farmland over here. Scared? I am scared. Oh, easy. I was fine until I got to the top. I mean, this castle's like 750 years old. Who knows how stable this uh, stuff is up here? Well, if I have to die and I die in Wales at a 750-year-old castle on vacation, it's not the worst way to go. But I would prefer to get back and be able to uh, put this song on Andy's Awesome Adventures. Uh -huh. Oh, this is another one. Ooh. It's only 91 feet deep. And this is a well, but I wonder if they push people down here as well. centuries have made the bricks green. 